Hello guys and girls and welcome back to another 7 days to die guide. Are you interested in painting your house to look like it's made entirely out of metal even though it's just plain old wood? Or maybe you're just bored and would like to paint? Well in this guide, we will go over the new painting system Alpha 16 brought us. So let's get right in. Alright, before we actually start painting, we need to make a paintbrush and some paint. To craft a paintbrush, you will need 2 pieces of wood and 1 hide. Keep in mind that quality of the brush depends on the toolsmithing perk. And to craft some paint, you will need to mix chrysanthemum, cotton, goldenrod flower and bottled murky water inside chemistry station. One batch gives you 50 paint. When you have the paintbrush equipped, holding reload button will open up paint menu and from there you have few options to choose. Clicking on material tab will open up all the types of textures that are currently available to you. And as you can see many of them are locked and only few are available for us to choose. There are 6 material books in the game currently and you can either buy them at a trader or find them randomly in the world. You can also see the books you've read in the skills and perks menu under the painting tab. Now when you select the texture you want to use, it shows how many pieces of paint it costs to use it. That same texture appears around the paintbrush in your hotbar indicating you have it selected. Paintbrush option in the menu allows you to paint only one side of the block you are currently aiming at with the right click and delete with left click. This for example allows you to turn this block into a sink. And also keep in mind that you cannot paint ground, only blocks. Paint roller option in the menu allows you to paint more block sides at the same time but it's not precise as the paintbrush because it can paint the other sides as well as the sides behind the block you're aiming at. And this for example allows you to turn entire wall into one big beer cooler. Aiming at specific block side and picking texture picker copies that same texture for you to use on other blocks. Now these options I mentioned now are default ones available to everyone, but to unlock special ones you will need to have creative menu on. You can do so by opening your command console and typing cm, but only if you have admin privilege. Now the paint menu has few additional options that make things much easier. Spray gun option acts similar to paint roller, but the surface it paints is huge in comparison. It's mainly used if you want to paint large surfaces very quickly. Be careful with this one, it sprays everywhere. Paint all sides option allows you, like the name says, to paint all surfaces of the block you're aiming at. While aiming at specific block, copy block option allows you to copy that exact block with those same textures, giving you close to 200 samples for later use. And now you know why creative menu is needed to access these options. It's cheating. Last option on our list is a replace paint. When picked, message pops up saying the next painted texture will be replaced in the current prefab or selection. This means that you can replace every particular texture within the desired prefabricated building. For example, I don't like the wall textures of this house. Picking this option will allow me to change every wall with this texture with the ones I choose, making the whole process much faster. Possibilities are endless. Too bad I'm bad painter. Like if you're late. That is all for this guide guys, I hope you found it informative. Consider subscribing for more guides like this and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.